Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Steven Universe review. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the zoo. Remember, leaks. <laughs> this episode premieres on February 2nd, I think. So, if you can, make sure to watch it when it comes out. If not, you can buy the episodes on iTunes when they eventually come out. That's another way to support the creators. Or you could buy official official merchandise. That also supports the creators. But with that all being said, let's just get into the episode. So, it starts off right where the last episode left off. Steven is in the zoo, and he meets up with his dad. And they're, they've ha they have this whole society, right? They're, these are humans who have been on Earth for... Or who have not seen Earth in 5,000 years, right? They've... Generation after generation for thousands of years. So, it's very... There are many ways they could have taken this, and they, they do do an interesting one, right? We see all these people. It's inter I, It's funny, because when we first see them, right, we see them all cheering, and there's this one guy who's not, and I was like, is he going to come back in some way? No, he doesn't. I, I don't know why he's like that, but whatever. All right, so we learn a little of how the society works, because again, it is kind of a zoo, but it's not like what I expected a zoo to be. When I actually first heard the uh, uh, the name of the episode, right, the zoo, where they were in like a weird zoo, my original thought was, well, again, I didn't even think of this whole arc thing. My original thought was a zoo of corrupted gems on Earth. And it's funny how your expectations for, like, just based on a title, and then the ep actual episode, like, differs so drastically from what you thought. Kind of. Uh, I said the same thing about Hit the Diamond, though. But yeah, so how their society works is they have these earrings with these little voices that basically tell them what to do. How to live in this society. Because this is basically... They're in captivity... But yet, it's a utopia. Everything is perfect. Right? Like, so they have this routine that they go through. Like, they start off, they're eating this fruit, right? It's just fruit that grows on trees. They're like, oh, it's purple. And they kind of go around, they just play, they reach up towards the sky, which I have seen people draw a comparison to White Diamond's mural in the, um... Oh, what was it called? In in the in Sirius Stephen, right? In that temp in the temple, and for some reason, I I hope they don't do this, but I'm getting a white diamond as a sort of god metaphor coming in here, and I'm kind of hoping they don't do that again. They could. Now nah, I've been wrong before, but I I don't know. We'll see, right? But it's just kind of it's a nice relaxing life. These people. Are they, they're just conditioned to this, right? This is all they've ever known. What do you expect? And they go out, they smell the flowers. The two main ones we see of these people are Y6 and J10. Which, according to what somebody told me, J10, who is the girl, is the same voice actress as uh, Marionette from Miraculous, if I was told correctly. Which is a show I've never seen and was actually considering reviewing, but instead I decided to do Milo Murphy's Law, which I haven't updated in a while, even though the next episode is the review is technically done. But that's besides the point, right? So we see them just living their society life, which their society life, right? We, they, we get this bathing scene where they're all just like, oh, cannon, right? They're, they go to make a splash and it's just the tiniest little splash. They get introduced to a cannonball. And Greg's kind of going along with it. Steven's not really into it, right? Because, again, he sees this as captivity, as where they don't. This is their life. But it's interesting how their society works. Like, that they don't really have one. Like, it's whatever the voices do. Tell They do whatever the voices tell them to do. But yet they still haven't developed their own society. It's all just really fascinating, in my opinion. That's... A, that's a good way to look at it, is it's fascinating. So, right, Greg's kind of into it, Steven's not buying it, and Greg starts actually kind of liking it, again, Utopia. And he, he's kind of, he's going down with it, but they they try to escape, right? They go and find the door, J6 and Y10 follow them, and they, they tell a story of, oh, long ago a gym came through the door, 
and to get someone who was hurt or something like that. So Steven punches Greg and it's like, oh, that was not a good idea. We all, uh, we could see that coming from a mile away. That No. But then they all get summoned to the choosing, which is basically a ceremony held to, right, choosing, it, they choosing people, basically shipping. This, <laughs> this episode kind of feels like one giant metaphor for, like, shipping and original characters and fan bases and all that jazz it it feel it, that's what it kind of feels like oh no actually it really does because like this the why because j why well, 10 correction gets choosened with greg this totally does feel like a shipping one but yeah so greg's like oh on earth we don't choose in we fall in love with whoever we want and yeah, now the only reason now, well, besides for dictating their entire life, the the reason I really think they have a choosing is because technically, when they've kidnapped all these humans, they've basically bottlenecked the gene pool. So there's probably a lot of inbreeding going on, and the choosing is probably the best bet to stop the inbreeding. But it's only going to work so much. The gene pool has been so bottlenecked, if you know what I mean. But that's my best guess. And then Greg's like, oh, you can choose in whoever they want. So everybody chooses Greg and he amounts his own he amasses his own harem. Okay. But then he Greg's like, oh, I can't be with you, right? That or it's it, well, it's that I also get to say who I choose in, and I don't choose in any of you. So they all start to cry because they've never felt sadness before. Their lives are so simple, so dictated that they don't know what sadness is. So they start to panic and chase after Greg. And eventually, right, this causes the amethysts to come in. And I like the one... Because, like, you'd expect the amethysts... I expected them to be, like, cruel, right? You expect them to be unforgiving. But then you remember they're earth amethysts. But, you know, this epi- these epi- this whole arc has really given me an interesting take on Amethyst. Or on gym society in general. It's not what I expected. It's a lot warmer than what I expected. And I'll get more into detail of this in the next episode. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. But yeah, there's a really great Amethyst where it's, the guy's like, I'll never choose in again. And the Amethyst's like, sure, you will. Don't don't worry. And then they eventually get captured by uh, an amethyst, a big one, who kind of kind of reminds me of Jasper, honestly. It's cuz when it back way back in um Jim Heist last episode, when we first saw the amethyst, I'm assuming that's what amethysts look like normally, but I was always pictured amethysts look more like Jasper, but then I remembered oh wait, Jasper's kind of an extreme. But yeah, this one also feels kind of extreme. Looks a lot like Jasper. But yeah, no. So the standard amethyst, not not what I, I expected them to be bigger for some reason. But we'll get more into that next episode. But yeah, this is it's it's a good one. It's really it's just fascinating. That's what I like about it. I mean, like you do get a good joke in here and there, and you, you get some interesting characters, some interesting character designs. I know people are raving about that. But yeah, no, it's. It is good, and this is one I definitely do want to do a theory on one day. I Again, I'm backlogged right now, gosh, like five or six. Yeah, I think it's gone up to that right now. This will be one I hit way later on down the line. And it sucks that I'm backlogged, you know? Like, I was originally going to do How to Heal Corrupted Gyms, and then I had this idea for the video, something I'd never done before, and I started working on it. And I just couldn't get it to work like the way I wanted it to. And I lost a lot of the motivation to do the video. And right now it's just kind of delayed indefinitely. And... It, but yeah, okay, that's enough of my rant. Again, good episode, definitely recommend. But I And I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.